During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about farmer yield maps. When farmers are harvesting fields with modern equipment, they have the capability of mapping out what the yield was at every little spot all around the field. So they'll come up with a really pretty picture that tells quite the story. When you see areas of the field that are yielding really high and areas of the field that are yielding much less, farmers have an opportunity to address some of those issues going into the next year. Yeah, so what are those issues? Well, the big problem that we have as farmers and we look at the yield maps is we go, all right, I know I've got a problem here. I know my yield is low, but why? Well, the challenge with after harvest is there's no crop there. There are no weeds there. There are no bugs there then. We don't really know for sure why we had that problem. Yes, we can go out and do some soil sampling then and do a little site inspection, dig around a little bit and that type of thing. But otherwise, we don't have all the answers then. So one way that farmers will address these problem areas out in the field is to go do some soil testing. When they take soil samples in the good areas and then the bad areas of the fields, oftentimes they can see a correlation with certain levels of different nutrients where they're a little higher in the good areas and a little lower in the other areas of the field. Yep, another thing that farmers can identify even at this time of year, or at least in the fall right after harvest, is if it's a drain tile problem. If they realize that, ooh, you know what, I think there's a drain tile line that goes right through there, I wonder if that's plugged. And then they can check that and find out if it is or not. That very well could be the problem. But again, I kind of come back to weeds, insects, diseases, those types of things in season. That's where really satellite imagery is helpful to recognize, oh, we're having a problem here. Then you can go out in season and figure that out. I kind of look at satellite imagery as getting my yield map in season as opposed to in the fall when I actually harvest. And farmers will talk a lot about, well, I need to overlap this data, my yield map, with other data that I've got from earlier in the season. And maybe that's an as-applied herbicide map for a herbicide trial, or maybe it's uh, different hybrids that they've got going on in the field. Let's see where those hybrids were at and where the high yielding spots in the field were, or it could come down to soils or other problems that they've had throughout the season. But taking that yield map data really gives, hey, here's the result. Now let's see what led to that problem along the way. Well, once again, yield maps are really important as a management tool for farmers. It helps us identify where we've got problem areas and also where the good areas are so we can compare those two. One of the problems that may pop up in fields is our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? 